So the next thing we can do with determinants is to find a formula for the inverse of a. And while this may be an okay method for three by three matrices, I do not suggest using this for higher matrices. So when we're de trying to determine the inverse, the first thing we need to do is to find all the cofactors. So basically I'm gonna find a matrix of cofactors. I'll delete the first row and column, take the determinant, delete the second row and first column, take the determinant, delete the third row and first column, take the determinant. Do this for every single value. And cofactors do have the sign change depending on the checkerboard pattern, so that will come in play as well. So from there, the inverse of the matrix is A inverse is equal to one over the determinant of A times the transpose of this cofactor matrix. So for example, we wanna find the inverse of this matrix. So step one, let's find the cofactors. So, start by deleting the first row in the first column. If you attempt to take this determinant, you get eight minus three, which would be five. The next one would be deleting the first row in the second column. Zero minus two is negative two. Since this is in a negative spot, it'll become positive two. Next, we'll delete the first row in the third column. This gives us zero minus four, which is negative four. We'll move on to the second row in the first column. This gives us 24 minus 21, which is three. This is in a negative spot, so it will become negative three. Second row, second column gives us 12 minus 14, which is negative two. Second row, third column gives nine minus 12, which is negative three. And this is in a negative spot, so it will become a plus three. Now we move to the third row. Third row, first column. Six minus 14 is negative eight. Third row, second column gives us three minus zero, which is three. And this is in a negative spot, so it will become a negative three. Finally, third row, third column. Six minus zero is six. I'll now go down the first column to find the determinant of A, since it's the one with the zero. So three times. I've already found the cofactor here. It was five, so three times five. The next is a zero. Finally, I have a two, and once again, I've already found the cofactor. It was negative eight. So 15 minus 16, which is negative one. So to actually find the inverse, we'll multiply by one over negative one times the transpose of this matrix C. So five minus three minus eight, two minus two minus three, minus four, three and six. Distributing the negative sign out front gives negative five, three, eight, two, minus two, two, three, four, minus three, minus six. So like I said, this isn't a bad method if you're dealing with three by three matrices. However, anything larger would be a lot more complicated. If you try to do this method for a four by four matrix, you would have to take 16 three by three determinants. Each would, which is gonna be broken up to three two by two determinants. So it gets a little out of hand pretty quickly.